Hey guys, this is Chidanand from Kratz Infotech NG and welcome to another tutorial. This time around, the tutorial is about setting up a Kubernetes dashboard on a single node cluster which is running uh, Minikube. So the Kubernetes dashboard is a very beautiful UI that gives you a lot of information about the Kubernetes cluster that you're running. In our case, I'm going to set, it, set this up on a single node cluster which will be running on something called as uh, Minikube. Minikube is nothing but uh, you know an utility that allows you to bring up a Kubernetes cluster on a single node machine. Uh, this is a pretty good uh, utility for anyone who wants to try around uh, you know playing around learning Kubernetes. So once I bring up this uh, Kubernetes single node cluster I will be setting up a dashboard and will try to access this from my uh, localhost. So this uh, cluster or the uh, Minikube, I'll be setting it up on my Google Cloud account. And um, I have uh, Ubuntu server that is already running out here on my um, uh, Google Cloud account. And I'm already connected to it. All right, so GSB, let's go for release. Sorry. All right, so I have an Ubuntu 18.04 and I already installed um, a Docker on it. I've already installed um, Minikube on it and Kubectl. Um, this is my repository on GitHub. I put in all the um, commands that is required for you to go ahead with the installation. You'll find this out here as to how to install and the order of this is pretty important you got to first go ahead and install kubectl uh, kubectl is nothing but a command line utility to interact with your kubernetes cluster it's a pretty straightforward installation so after kubectl is installed um, i have installed minikube and um, you know this configuration is also pretty simple so i've just installed these things and let me just check uh, what is the versions of kubectl that i have kubectl uh, version so I have this uh, version um, 1.15 that is the version of kubectl that I have and uh, the minikube version this is the minikube version that I have right uh, now let me go ahead and um, start up my minikube uh, I have a specific need for one of my customer where I wanted to support this Kubernetes version uh, 1.11.10 that is the reason why I'm bringing up my mini cube. Um, but in all possibilities, if you run it with, without any specific version of Kubernetes in mind, uh, you'll be still able to follow and bring up um, bring up the uh, dashboard without any issues. So let me bring up uh, my Kubernetes cluster with mini cube, specifying the specific version of my Kubernetes. I've already put this in in a, a shell script. All right, so I'm going to start my uh, mini cube with this specific version of Kubernetes and VM driver equal to none because I don't need any virtualization because I'm already running on a Ubuntu box. Let me um, run this. So it takes a while for mini cube to get started. So basically uh, it sets up a single node cluster um, specifying okay nothing to worry about this is a pretty common stuff that happens so the version of docker that i have is the docker ce version 18.09 so i'm trying to bring up a um, single node cluster on this using um, minikube in the meanwhile let me show you around with uh, my repository on github where I have most of these things jotted down so this is where I have all the installations that is required and uh, this is where I have all the documents uh, in order to run the dashboard so first let me just bring up my cluster see if everything is okay or run maybe a pod and a service out here and check if everything looks good Okay, let me pause the video for 
much sometime and um, all right it looks like that woke him up so typically i don't want to run minikube um, as a, a root or a sudo user so i'm trying to run this um, with, with the user that i've logged into my uh, gcp account uh, so i'll just go ahead and give all the required permissions um, for, for for my present user in order to run uh, kubectl along with minikube so whenever minikube gets installed um, in the home directory there are two folders that is created or rather one folder and one configuration file uh, it's called dot minikube and dot cube so anyone who is supposed to uh, use minikube would need permissions um, in order to, into these two uh, directories and files so that they can run um, commands against minikube Should I again go ahead and pause? No, all right, great, this seems to work. So, if at all you see, I have two folders here now. One is uh, dot, okay, one is dot mini cube, and one is called dot cube. Where is dot cube? Yes, right here. These two are folders, so I need to set the permissions um, so that. All right, so with these, I should be able to run um, my kubectl commands without really uh, having to become a sudo. So kubectl um, cluster info. All right, kubectl, or rather, let's see, mini cube status. Okay, so mini cube is up and running. I brought up a single node cluster, um, which is which is running. Uh, on my um, on my single node um, uh, Ubuntu box that I have. So let me just bring up or let me just um, try to run a few parts just to check if everything is okay with my installation. So kubectl run hello mini cube. I'm trying to run uh, hello mini cube, which is nothing but a simple pod. And by specifying the image that is there on it's nothing but a simple echo server on the Google Cloud. Um, so if at all I say Google CTL get PO, okay, the pod is up and running, looks okay. So now having just a pod is not enough for me. So let me try to expose that pod as a service, and I'm specifying the node port kind of a service. So the pod is running, the service is running. Now let me try to get the URL of my okay. Okay, doesn't matter. So if at all you would see, I went ahead and exposed my service as a node port. A node port is one type of um, um, a port sharing where um, whatever we're going to be running within our cluster will also be available outside our cluster so uh, if at all you see this is the port on which my service is running so this would be a cluster IP but cluster IP is of not much help for me because I want to expose I want to see if at all my service is available outside my cluster so if you see my IP address of my machine this is the IP address of my machine and uh, followed by this is the port 32106 was that it yes 32106 oops uh, control v colon 32106 okay so this is a simple um service that is available for me this is just to verify if all my um, uh, kubernetes um, single node kubernetes cluster on minikube is you know doing good it looks it looks perfectly fine great now let me just go ahead and um, install um, the dashboard all right 
the steps required along with all the YML configurations that is required uh, is all out here in this repository within this dashboard folder. So let me look at the details. All right, so uh, though the dashboard is available as a YML file, so all that you got to do is go ahead and um, you know create um, create a deployment for this dashboard. Um, so so let's just go ahead and do that. All right, so if you see this dashboard has got few dependencies, there's some certificates, there's a service account, there's a role based access and a role binding and a deployment and a service. All these are created as a part of this dashboard deployment. So if at all I say kubectl get uh, pod, uh, this gets created in a different namespace called cube system. So cube system. All right, so if you see this, the dashboard is available here, the service and you know, a bunch of stuff that is all related to dashboard is created as a part of the deployment. Now I'm going to install one other thing which is called uh, Hipster. Hipster is um, pretty old, but still, you know, this is one of the need for my customer. So I'll just go ahead and uh, create Hipster gives you all kinds of metrics from your cluster. So I will just go ahead and create a uh, Hipster and hipster has got a dependency on database. Uh, this is a time series uh, or a time bound uh, date and time stamp based database called uh, InfluxDB. So I'll just go ahead and create that as well. All right. And uh, there's a cluster rule that has to be created in order for uh, hipster to access the cluster information. So I'll just go ahead and create that as well. Great. Okay, now I need to create a specific user uh, using which I will be able to go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and um, uh, access my dip, uh, dashboard. So let me just go and see what is that that is required. All right, so I just go and create a service account. Uh, name of my service account is called uh, Dash Admin, and he would be having access to everything under this uh, Cube System uh, namespace. So also, there's a cluster binding that is going to happen, so that this Dash Admin would get in get the role of cluster admin, I mean cluster role, so that he'll be able to access um, the uh, dashboard. So this is dashboard service. YML, so I'll say kubectl create hyphen f or rather apply. Where am I? All right. All the files are here. I was in a different folder. Great. So that done. All right. Now, um, whenever you're going to access uh, the dashboard using the specific user account, uh, it would need some sort of an authentication. And as per um, the design, the dashboard is supposed to be available only on the node um, which is running this cluster. So for now, I have a single node cluster. So Typically, this is supposed to be the dashboard is supposed to be available only on that particular node. Um, now, if at all I need to access it outside the cluster, I would need some way of uh, uh, SSH tunneling the traffic um, from the dashboard onto my local box. So I need to do you know a little bit more in order to access my dashboard. Now the dashboard is up and running. The only thing is I will not be able to connect to it. So if at all I need to connect to my dashboard, I would need to have one of the authentication tokens for this specific uh, user that I created. So I would need this authentication tokens. So let me just have that out here. All right. So this would be the token that I would need in order to access my dashboard. All right. That apart, if at all I say kubectl proxy, So the dashboard would be available on port 8001 of my um, uh, single node cluster. But as I said, this is all available within the cluster. 
um, there's no way that I would be able to access this outside the cluster. So I need to do a little bit more stuff so that I would be able to, um, you know, create an SSH tunnel from a local box uh, so that I'll be able to access the cluster. So let me do a little bit of a tweak for it. So let me go to my putty session. Um, so let me open a putty session. Um, I'll try to create an SSH tunnel between my machine, uh, which is a single node cluster. So this is my machine. So this is my um, username. This is the IP address of my machine. And this is where I keep my SSH key. This is the typical configuration with which you would access your any of your cloud um, VMs. So I'm more interested in the SSH tunnel. So the port on which um, uh, port on which the dashboard gets accessed is 8001. So I will create an SSH tunnel between my local box and uh, my server, which is running on the Google Cloud. So 8001 is the proxy, or rather is the port. Okay, so 8001 is the source port, and um, I would want to expose this as um, localhost 800. I want to create an SSH tunnel between this machine, uh, that is the server, uh, using the credentials that I've supplied out here. All right, only thing is I want to create a tunnel. Oops, this guy went away. 8001 localhost 8001. Say so add this and then go ahead and open this. All right, so now let me say kubectl proxy okay now this exposes the same dashboard on port 8001 but since 8001 um, is kind of tunneled out into my local host i should be able to see this on my local host as well so local host 8001 all right there you go so through my local host, I have created an SSH tunnel to my cluster, which is running Minikube, and I'm able to get, uh, the, get to the URL. All right, so this is good enough. So what I need is I need to get to the dashboard URL. So this is the specific dashboard URL where um, the dashboard is available for me. So once I specify um, the keys, uh, for, for my account that I've created, I should be able to get in uh, using that. So let me try if that works. All right, so I have this token. Uh, this is the token that I created earlier. So this is the token. All right, so let me paste the token out here. If everything goes well, I should be able to see my cluster. Great. So this uh, is the default um, Kubernetes dashboard that gives us some information about the kind of workloads that we have, the kind of pods that is running, the CPU usage that is happening, the memory usage and stuff like that. And in case anybody is trying out um, Kubernetes as a single node cluster and still in development phases, I would strongly recommend that um, you guys use this uh, to check and validate uh, the load that is running on your boxes. Go ahead, you can go ahead and do some deployments out here. Uh, whatever you can do with your Kubernetes CLI or the kubectl can also be done here with a nice um, UI that tells you uh, what's good and what's not so good. Um, I hope this tutorial was useful. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, watching this. Good day.